This is Randy, Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. Um, today I'm just going to kind of take you through my audio configuration. Um, I use two mixers. I use the uh, Alto mixer for my audio. I did use it both for mic and audio. Um, I started running into problems, a lot of feedback. So I picked up a second uh, mixer. It's a smaller one. It's uh, called a Mix 8 mic mix, and I just use it for the mics. Um, so it really cleared up my problem. Um, going back to the audio mixer now, you know, my ham shack is small. My desk is small, relatively small. So I just needed, I didn't want to listen to a speaker, uh, different speakers and different radios and different computers. So I essentially used this audio mixer here for all my audio inputs, uh, FT991A, my flex radio, uh, my master computer, my backup computer. Uh, I plug my headsets in. I have like listen to just the headsets, or I can listen to all the audio um, um, through the amplifier and speaker system. I have all control. I can turn it on and off, down and up. Uh, they have EQs. I generally don't change them i keep them pretty even but i do on my home computer a little bit my master computer um works really well um i don't use the phantom power on this audio because i now use a mic mixer so i don't have to turn phantom power on for the mics i have no mic input but essentially this mixer um will provide the input into the fossil audio amplifier it's a very small amplifier it's a really well-built amplifier, and it's a two-channel mini-amp, so it's on my desk. It doesn't take up a lot of room, and I do have the Polk Audio T15 speakers that I use. So all my audio devices, all the sounds from my radios, uh, my computers, all feeds this amplifier. So I have essentially one control, main control, to adjust all the volumes for everything. Um, works out well for me in my environment. Um, going back to this, everything I bought from Amazon, with the exception of these speakers, I did pick those up at Best Buy. Very happy with them. Um, so essentially, um, I adjust the audio how I want if I'm listening to it. And generally, my 991A is used solely for VHF, UHF. Um, but I leave it on, um, I adjust the volume on it. My flex is usually on all the time. Now this is taking the audio directly out of the back of the flex. There's two ways to take audio. Uh, I take it through the flex audio output, which is here on the back of the flex radio, or I, um, will take it actually through the audio through from the flex through my, uh, computer itself, through my USB audio input. So I have two ways of doing it. Generally, when I'm um, not uh, using FT8 or anything like that, I'll go directly audio directly out of the flex into my amp and not go through the computer. But I have either either or I could use. Um, backup computer, uh, everything works perfectly. I can adjust the volume for everything. I do three, three but it's only coming, th everything coming through one set of speakers, which I like. Now, I picked up the mic audio uh, amp mixer, which I really love. Uh, it's small, but essentially my boom mic comes in here. Now, my boom mic requires the uh, 48 Phantom power. Um, and then my uh, Yamaha 500 headsets come in here. Now, my mic input from the headset goes right into this one. So, I generally use my boom mic. Occasionally, if something's going on, I'll turn that one down to zero and then turn this one up. So I can just use the mic on my headsets. Um, here's a mic that this is actually output to the computer and uh, the other computer. This one here feeds the uh, uh, flex radio right here is down here is where the microphone is input. It'll feed that. Um, and of course, here's my mic for my FT-991A. So it's really, really, really simple. 
Um, the connections are easy on the back of the flex. Uh, the FT991A, I, I actually go through the speaker output and I, I do a down conversion of it to low level uh, to feed the mic. Now, the complicated part of this is I only wanted to use one item to key PTT. Um, so I built a, a course, you know, going through the pinouts, you know, the Yatsu, and I pretty much stay with this configuration. Um, currently, my Yatsu is down at, uh, at the factory in California for a second time, uh, still under warranty, uh, USB problem. Um, so I actually pulled out an old Redditity QB25 and I wired it up. Uh, so I can use my PTT and my mixers with that as well. And it gets a little complicated. I had to build a converter from the uh, QD25 plug uh, pin out over here. Uh, and I converted it over and it allows me to plug into my system and I can control it. Um, gets a little more complicated. I just built a converter. I used some regular RJ45 plugs wired in between in based off this configuration of wiring. But, and I essentially only use uh, the mic, mic ground, PTT and ground. I still have to use the mic to channel up or channel down. But for normal conversation, I can um, um, just use my, my, uh, my audio mixer mic and audio and the same ptt i use for my flex radio or or be the ft991a um these are kind of my cheat sheets um kind of a what it looks like here now i use this land switch essentially that's what controls what inputs are coming from the mixers and mics uh for example my ft991a i got on port a and it feeds the radio. It's a it's a RJ45 plug. I got it rigged up, wired up to that. Um, a flex radio is connected to port B, and uh, port C. I actually use this uh, QB25 to uh, if I want to use it with my audio mixers. So it doesn't matter. It really depends on which button I have pressed is where all my audio um, mic signals and ptt is going to be fed off of which it makes it easy i use one i love this foot switch i use it on my desktop i've installed switches for up and down uh for the 991a now this uh, uh radio here the rigidity radio it's a little more complicated it's got a electronic circuit in it i didn't want to take a spend a lot of time on it because i generally will only have my 91 a when i get it back and that I'll, I'll pull that off and all i got to do is pull the mic plug the mic right back into the radio i didn't break any wires or anything i just rigged it up with this converter that goes between the radio um the mic plugs in here and then this goes directly to the land switch based off all the wiring configuration here now to do this, it takes a lot of accessories and I took a picture of come things and line adapters, uh, balance cable and balance cables. Um, uh, with my setup, I use a lot of these filters, right? RFI, MI filters. I use the plugs, you know, from uh, quarter inch, eighth inch, eighth inch plugs. Um, I use a lot of ground loop noise isolators. Um, and here's the uh, the land switch I actually use to select which radio I want to use the PTT and mic with. So it works out pretty simple. Uh, it's very efficient for me. Uh, press one button on the uh, on the uh, the switch. I can go from you know 991A to the flex or to the other radio, and I still got a port that I can add a, a fourth radio to it if I want. So anyways, uh, just a quick video to kind of show you the configuration of my system using the uh, Auto Audio uh, Sound Mixer for all my audio inputs and then using the MX uh, Mix 8 Mic Mixer to control my mic inputs to all my radios via the uh, LAN port switch. 
Works really well. I had to build a couple harnesses, but generally everything is wired with a straight cable, a land cable, short land cables. You can use that. And that this allows me to do that, especially for this radio. I built a converter to line up to the FT991A pin configuration. Anyway, hope this was helpful to you. Uh, 73s. This is Randy Kilo, November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha.